I know it's been such a long time since I made a video. It's been over five months and I'm sorry for that. But this video is going to be a little explanation video, like life update, I guess. I know a lot of you want a playlist video and I promise you I'm going to make another one soon. I'm sorry it took so long, but I feel like I owe you guys an explanation. They say beauty comes from beneath, but why does my mirror deceive? try my best to explain everything but a lot of the things are personal so I'm not gonna say a lot of things but I'm gonna try my best and yeah I hope you all are doing well the first thing I'm gonna address is yes I do have a pimple patch on my forehead just try to ignore it the first thing I'm gonna talk about is that I moved I live with my boyfriend and his best friend he's our roommate but I moved out of my parents' house in like January and then I moved in to a place with my boyfriend and our roommate but we also lived with one of my boyfriend's family members and I lived there until like, I don't know when we moved but I lived there for a few months and we just had to get out of that living situation because it was not good and we needed to find a place really quick. The issue was with my boyfriend's family member. The whole situation has been really hard because this person would hurt my boyfriend. And I usually like, I keep to myself, I'm very quiet. I am I can't be mean to anyone, but when you mess with someone that I love, especially the most important person in my life, my boyfriend, it hurt me because they hurt him and it just and it had to do with money and lying well the money wasn't important to my boyfriend but that's was their motive I guess I should say it's hard to explain I just don't want to say a lot of things but I was just trying to give you guys a background without saying too much and this person was blaming me and everyone else for their own actions. They were trying to take the blame off of them and put it on everyone else. And they just kept lying and lying. And they were just acting plain crazy, just to say the least. And not only me, they were, after we moved out and everything, they haven't left my boyfriend alone. And they accused our roommate of doing something to take the blame off of them. This person, can't take accountability for anything but i don't care what you say about me i don't care what you do to me but when you mess with someone i love i i don't stand for that and it still hurts me to see them messing with my boyfriend's head and playing with his emotions anyway it's getting a lot better now besides that whole situation like that's just annoying and i don't like seeing my boyfriend hurt obviously it really makes me upset because he's literally the nicest oh, i'm getting emotional he's like the nicest person ever and he, he would do anything for anyone and he didn't deserve that um besides that situation i've been the happiest i've ever been and i've been planning my future with my boyfriend on top of getting this place free rented someone is wanting to give us a house it needs a lot of work but they're giving us just the house and we just have to put the work into it. It's something that we're still considering, but I'm really excited about it. And I'm already like designing everything. That's what I've been spending like the last week or two, honestly. I kind of forgot about all that when I moved in here. I was focusing on this, but now that we've settled down here, I've really been looking into what all work needs done to that place and designing everything. I want like... The aesthetic I'm going for is like gothic Victorian meets modern, I guess. I can, I'm gonna put in some pictures here to give you guys some inspiration. And if that happens, if I, if we decide to do that house and renovate it, I am gonna take you guys along on the journey the best I can because I think it's be really interesting to see the before and after. And I'm really excited because I personally think I'm good at designing things and I have a certain, I don't know, I'm not picky, but I am picky. I don't know, my boyfriend says I'm picky, but 
I, when it comes to aesthetic and like colors and everything, that's when I get picky. I have an idea in my head and I want it to be fulfilled. And sometimes I have to have expectations when it comes to that. And it makes me sad when it doesn't turn out that way. But I'm really, really hope that this happens and it all goes smooth. I know there's going to be ups and downs and stuff's not going to go right, but I don't know. I think it'll be a perfect little house first house for us and I know that this is technically our house but we rent it but I'm also excited for that too because this will be our like first Christmas together not like together as a couple we've had we've spent two Christmases together but like this is our first Christmas in our own house together and I'm also excited for Halloween um we get to decorate and I'm gonna pass out candy we're gonna pass out candy to the children and my boyfriend wants to scare them. I I wanted to, but I'm afraid that he's gonna scare them too bad and they're not gonna go, and they're not gonna wanna go trick or treating anymore and their parents are gonna be mad at us. But I'm excited for that. Besides that whole situation and moving, um, I've just been really trying to spend more time with my family and my animals. I love my animals so much, I want more. But my dog buddy, he still lives with my parents, but I s try to spend as much time with him as I possibly can. I go over there three times a week for dinner, but when I get off of work, I come and take him here. And on Mondays, which is today, I don't work, so I took him. He's laying down over there. I'll show you. He's so cute. Buddy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you sleepy? You sleepy? <laughs> also, I don't know, a lot of you probably don't know, but I did make a video. I got a ball python a few months ago, and that was one of the best decisions I've ever made. She is literally so cute. I love her so much. She is a little bit special. Um, my boyfriend makes fun of her because he has his own ball python, and she's older. And the issues that my snake has, or like the things she does, his snake doesn't do. So he thinks she's a little bit of special needs, but I love her. I'll put in like a little montage of her right now, like some pictures. I have a cat too, his name's Mr. Poopers. And he's been a handful recently. I don't know what his deal is. But we moved here and he was good. He was a good kitty. He really didn't get into anything. But in the other house, the family member that we had all those troubles with just gave him whatever he wanted. Like he, she gave him human food and milk and all this. And we told her not to because it's not good for them. But she didn't listen. And that created a monster because he... He literally acts like a dog. He's been digging in the trash now. He takes stuff out of the sink. He's trying to find his cat food and rip it open, even though he has the same cat food in his bowl. He's been a little monster. I love him to death, but hopefully, I hope he stops that soon. I don't know what else to do, but it makes no sense because when we first moved here, he was fine. He acted like a normal cat and he didn't get into anything. We took him to the vet. They had to put him um, on anesthesia when he woke up this is what happened he a he acts like he forgets the rules of the house and he does he literally doesn't care he does not care if he gets in trouble he just looks at us like we're crazy i've also just been trying to like relax and spend time with my boyfriend we like watching tv shows finally his favorite tv show is that 70 show we binge watched that and I didn't want to watch the ending because I know like the eighth season he told me just like a rush they rushed it and like a bunch of the actors were doing other things so a lot of the characters weren't in it. I didn't finish we have like four episodes left and I didn't want to finish it but I'm probably going to finish it and we did watch that 90s show like the first season I know they came out with another season it's not as good as that 70s show and it's a little cheesy but it's still good so we're probably going to watch that too. And my favorite TV shows, here, my favorite TV shows are 
Family Guy, Rick and Morty, That 70s Show. I love The Rookie. It's like a cop show. And I like The Challenge, too. It's on MTV. It's a reality TV show. And Big Brother. Those are my favorite TV shows. I've also been like, I used to not like movies at all because I'd get bored. But I've been liking movies recently. My favorite movies are Jennifer's Body, Edward Scissorhands, 13, Donnie Darko, what else? Ginger Snaps is really good too. Um, Hellraiser is really good. I've been trying to watch scary movies. I don't like movies where they're just like torturing people and animals. I like scary movies. I guess like, I don't know. I know a lot of scary movies are like torture. But like if that's all it is, I don't I don't like that. We recently watched it, um, one and two. It was really good. I liked that one. I don't know what else. But let me know what your favorite movies are or TV shows, and if you have any recommendations for me, please let me know. I'm gonna show you my living room and my dining room because those are the two rooms that I have really decorated and that are the most put together right now. Um, I still want to do more to my room which is what i'm in now like right here that's too plain i'm gonna add some stuff to there i'm gonna show you the living room and the dining room now it's so cute i'm so excited this is a collage or like pictures of me and my boyfriend there is mr poopers there he is yeah yes he likes talking a lot he has surprisingly been a good boy today he hasn't gotten into anything I got the coffin mirror from Timu actually and then up here I got that from Spirit Halloween. This is an actual preserved spider web and I got it off of Etsy and the picture frames are just from Walmart. I just printed off this picture and then the shelf I got from a yard sale actually but I'm gonna get like little mini picture frames and put up here. And I think I'm gonna get a gargoyle statue and put it there. But then over here, we have our little chair. And this pillow is so stinking cute. I love it so much. It's like a little corset and it's leopard print. I got it from Etsy. And over here we got this little skeleton gummy bear. I got it from Walmart. Up here, I don't know if you can really see, but I got these picture frames. Oh, I just messed it up. These picture frames from Timu, Edward Scissorhands, Ginger Snaps, and that's the Twilight wedding scene movie. I forgot, though. that's one of my favorite movies actually, is Twilight. I love Twilight, all of them. And then I have these over here, Ginger Snaps is there, and that's me and my boyfriend. But here, I'll show you the whole corner. And then over here, this table we actually got from a yard sale. But this is like, I don't know what it is, like vinyl stick-on paper from Timu. And it's a leopard print. It's so cute. I love it. And this little bath glass thing we got from a yard sale. And this is actually from Ross. And then over here, my aunt actually gave me this side table, but I put the same leopard print on it. And then we just got some pictures and stuff. And then I have the skeleton bat hanging from the ceiling right now. These picture frames we got from a yard sale, actually. They're actually mirrors, and I just taped pictures into it. Um, over here is a collage of my boyfriend's brother who passed away and his dogs and then over here this is what my boyfriend did to the living room he has this big octopus and he got this skeleton and he dressed it up it's the dining room this is my favorite part of the dining room actually i have the hellraiser pinheads over here jennifer's body donnie darko and then that's just a skeleton. And this is one of my favorite things. My dad actually got it for me from a yard sale too. And this is like a bleeding candle from Spirit Halloween. I actually took pictures over here like a few weeks ago. I'm gonna put 
them in this video because they turned out really cute. I have a Jennifer's body poster up here. My plan for this wall is to have two big movie po posters, probably both Jennifer's body. Um, I plan on getting those really soon. Then I just have a Ned Hardy bag up here. This is just a random shelf. This one's my boyfriend's. He got me this and then Twilight books. More Jennifer's body. This picture frame is so cool, but it doesn't hang. You have to like set it on something. It's from Kill Star. That's me and my boyfriend. And those are just random cute Halloween signs. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was kind of a mess and I was just rambling, but I really appreciate it if you watched it. And if you need to get anything off of your chest or anything you've experienced or anything that's happened to you or anything you just want to talk about, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer all of you. And we can just have a little conversation, all of us together. I hope you enjoyed the video and leave any video ideas you want down below. I know a playlist video, but if you have any other recommendations, please let me know. And I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for all your love and support. And I hope you have an amazing day or night. Oh, I just wish I could be anyone other than me. Started my own.